Jesus said, from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. God 
and to receive his blessing today for the rest of your life. Holy and beloved, holy and created by God to live in a relationship with God and other people, especially your spouse. Beloved, loved by God, your spouse, and loved by all who are gathered here today to witness your vows and to pray for you. As you build upon your married life together, there may, without a doubt, be some of life challenges which you will face as husband and wife. Some days will be harder than others, and it will be important to prepare yourself in certain ways to meet these challenges. It will be important in giving of yourself to each other that you actively provide compassion, kindness, lowliness, meekness, and patience as gifts to your spouse. For these are the characteristics which listen to the needs of the other and the answer to caring. As a couple, you will need to be forbearing to one another, giving room and space, tolerating those days when you are having a day that is less than great. One of the greater gifts to build your life upon is in your love and forgiveness. Love is to forgive. And love is always ready, ready to say, I'm sorry. Right, wrong, or indifferent, never let a day come to an end with a feeling of anger. Always give love. For love is the gift of God which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Always strive for the harmony which seems so real today. Remember how it feels for those days when it seems so remote. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Allow Christ to enlighten and inform your lives. This is the peace that surpasses all understanding, the peace in which you will live in harmony with God, your spouse, and all people. Make God a priority in your lives, beginning today before God. Don't leave it here. Nourish that relationship and take the time to be found among God's people who are also working at their own plan. Finally, John and Cheryl, be thankful to God for choosing you for each other and declaring you holy and beloved. Be thankful for your family and friends who are gathered here today. Be thankful for each other for what you have been 